cancers how are you guys doing welcome to my channel this is Silavi. i hope you guys are doing very well and enjoying the month of august here and you know getting your rest and all that good stuff and relaxing guys all right so let's get started let's see what is going on with my cancers for your your highest good let's get this message okay i'm hearing mind all right let's get started guys cancer sun moon and venus signs cancer sun moon venus signs amazing let me just get a jumper for you guys actually all right let's get started spirit what is the message for my cancer sun moon venus signs what is the message for my cancers walking away let's go yeah <laughs> like for real walking away spirit false magician in the mirror bottom of the deck we have action appreciation appreciating my time appreciating myself walking away walking away but the, there's still you know the, it's like i feel like you guys are just trying to move towards positivity here right what's tomorrow tomorrow's the 17th yeah so you guys are trying to move towards positivity here releasing all types of negativity like you know can i can i have a moment here um where i could just breathe again is what i'm hearing where i can breathe again I could breathe again and I could get a better understanding of how to move forward, right? Because I feel like you guys are, and like I said, um, I was getting a message like mind. I feel like a lot of you guys are in your mind, right? Or dealing with somebody that is really in their head here, Cancer. I feel like you're walking away, but I feel like there's an energy of slight hope, but I feel like it's fading away. It's heavily fading away. With every day that passes, it's like you're slowly wanting to walk away. Now, this is a general reading, right? So um, this may be you or your person. And we're going to find out. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see where spirit takes us here. Like what's going on. Who's turning their back and, and second guessing it a little bit. I see second guessing it, but it's more so like this is what I need to do. This is what I need to do. I need to do this. I need to make this decision. Let me see what they're going to do. Let me see how they're going to act. Yeah, like let me see what they're going to do. Let me see how they're going to act. Maybe in the past you possibly walked away and came back, right? This energy, I don't want to say you guys were pretending, but you were just trying to see what they were going to do. Okay, now I'm feeling like the person that you're dealing with, Cancer, I feel like this person has a tendency to live in their mind and i feel like um this person is somewhat shattered okay this person may be shattered they may be broken due to other things that has happened in the past okay um hold on due to some things that has happened in the past and i feel like this person makes decisions um that are really emotionally based right they they just like if things aren't going their way they will go about making a decision that will ruin a whole connection okay because i feel like this is a very deep connection this is a connection that when you guys were in it it was very it was very close it was very intimate it was very loving it had a lot of love a lot of you know you guys felt safe but again like i said i feel like you dealing with someone that in their head They've step by step sabotaged this relationship to um, to the end. Like they they felt the love, they wanted the love, they manifested the love, and then they manifested the downfall of the relationship. They lied. They constantly just went back and forth with your love, with your time, with your energy. And I feel like a lot of you guys honestly just jumped in with them and allowed this person to, because I feel like this person is very indecisive, right? They're very indecisive. And 
in a sense, it's like they continuously just sabotage love is what I'm feeling. And the love that I know my cancers has is is so nurturing and uh, it's just so refreshing, right? But I feel like once you found this person, there was an energy of love. You felt that. But then when the when this person did that 180, right, or however they switched up, they dragged you with them and they brought doubt, they brought questions, they brought uh, insecurities for some of you guys into the relationship because they didn't know what they wanted. And with that being said, now you were questioning like, do you love me? Do, you know, do you want to be here? Why are you here today, but not here tomorrow? It was like, it became a what is going on moment, right? But I feel like this person's continuously, and this is possibly not the first relationship that they've done this to, but I feel like this person constantly just, they're, they're, they're in a place where it's like, I'm just going to bring other energies into the relationship. I'm going to go take a risk here. I'm going to take a risk and, and ghost my cancer. Like they like taking dangerous risks, this person. This person likes to play with fire. And I feel like this person, like I said, sabotaged this relationship. I, I feel like this person, their vibration was just a bit off at times. Off at times, which then eventually brought you down as well. You know, I feel like it, it's like, you know, this person's like, let me take a risk on this other person over here. Let me lie. Let me deceive. Let me ghost. Let me block. And eventually... I feel like you guys were in a place where you were just always focused on love. You just were going on with this merry-go-round. You're just like, what is going on? And I feel like a lot of you guys are in a place that's like my emotions are all over the place. I don't even know what to feel. This person has literally drained my mind, body, and soul. Right? Because I feel like you guys were dealing with someone that didn't know where they wanted to be in life and you jumped on with them. It's like you weren't in control in a sense of what you wanted. So you accidentally got into a place where it's like, oh man, I let this person, I let this person allow me to forget that love does not consist of these games. Love does not, well, my love, I should say, right? Cancer's love does not consist of these roaming wild games and these back and forth um, merry-go-round, you, you know, that's not how Cancer's provide or distribute love take this how it resonates this may be for a cross watcher however just take the message um you know but i feel like a lot of you guys are in a place where it's like i'm walking away i'm no longer manifesting this type of behavior and but i feel like for some of you you're still waiting to see like what is this person going to do destruct you know I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's like once you turn your back on this person, this person is so in and out, like I feel it. It's like once you turn your back on this person, um, I feel like this person will slightly chase and they'll slightly stop. And you'll start realizing the truth about this person's behavior, uh, this person's cycle. And then you'll look at yourself and say, wait, hold on, what's my cycle? My cycle is continuously dealing with people that are broken and shattered as if I could save them with my love, but I wasn't paying attention. I, w I wasn't paying attention. I'm such an empath and I'm such a loving person that my, I wasn't paying attention. I, I just fell in love with this person and I forgot that, that this person just got out of a relationship, that this person is... Um, you know, their ex cheated on them. They're, they're still in a place of, you know, not being stable. And I put my heart and mind and soul in their hands. And, and now I'm confused. And I'm not confused about love. I know what I want. I know how I want it. And I messed up. And I feel like that's why you guys are just honestly listening to your intuition now, because I feel like at some point your intuition was just like pushed to the side. The red flags were there. They were there, right? And I feel like a lot of you guys are in a place where it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to start appreciating myself. I'm going to start taking action. Although the thoughts of this person is still there, right? That dark, that dark moment of how could you do that? That thought, you know, that dark moment of 
damn like you know what i mean like how could you do that 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 was the ultimate craziness like you really sabotage this relationship right but i feel like at this point you guys you're honestly just appreciating yourself i do see you guys thinking a lot about the past you're really thinking about the past a lot although you're appreciating yourself cancers i feel like for some for some of you guys you're still in that transition stage where you're trying to f release the past like you're still trying to make sense out of things you're still trying to understand like was this love what what ha what happened here is this person coming back is this person yeah you guys are honestly yeah you guys are still focusing on something that has died focus on things that are blossoming Fo focusing on see don't focus on this darkness anymore let it go see how she's still holding on to it let it go release release it understand it and release it easier said than done right of course always easier said than done but i feel like you guys are now though slowly understanding the definition of appreciation right appreciating myself appreciating what i want like what do i want in a relationship what do i need i hear it all the time my friends tell me i don't deserve this but hold on what do i think for a minute do i truly deserve this type of um neglect do i just des des deserve these lies these consistent manipulation the blame the uh maybe we could hook up or maybe we could talk about this and not really talk about it and could, do i deserve that right like can i enjoy my decade yeah patience spirit is saying guys have patience with yourself please focusing on blossoming right now focusing on self-love really focusing on that love in your space in your in your environment understanding and i want you guys to sit in a place and try to understand what is it that what am i waiting for am i waiting for somebody that does not want to communicate am i waiting for someone that doesn't understand my love because possibly i expressed it in a way of mm, i didn't express it properly i didn't express my standards i really didn't make it clear maybe or maybe i did and they really didn't care to listen but either way, spirit is saying have patience with yourself and really listen to yourself and ask yourself questions of exactly what you are waiting for when it comes to this relationship and this person. Are you waiting for the truth? Are you what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for their love? Do you want the love that they've given you in the past? Do you want that relationship again? The relationship that possibly consisted of lies and and when it was good, it was good. But when it was bad, it was really bad. So what do I really want from this person? What do I really want for myself? You know, do I want this person to constantly blame me for things that I didn't even think? Like, you know, you know, when somebody's blaming you for something, and you're like, where did that come from? That I wasn't even thinking that. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, queen of swords, putting your foot down, making making a solid decision right in in general too right for anything because she's making decisions overall so it's not even about a specific person per, uh, per se it's more so i'm making i'm setting these are my standards for all of these amazing suitors that are coming my way because i know i got it everybody friends family like these are my standards right this is what happens when you lie to me this is what happens when you um try to push me aside and neglect me this is what happens right i turn my back i turn my back and i focus on other things i put my energy i put my energy into love spirit what else do we have for my cancers happy home oh my god oh my god look at this guys ten of cups ten of cups look at the bottom of the deck thank you spirit look at this self-love right she doesn't lack anything she's not running around her kingdom with her dress up begging someone to and remember we're not doing gender specific self-love all the way focusing on my future my legacy what is going to um 
you know, allow me and my, the generation to come, my kids to have a great legacy? Am I going to allow intruders, frauds, as I say, you know, false kings, false queens to enter my, you know, my kingdom? Analogy, right? Am I going to allow this? Am I going to allow this disrespect? No way. This is, we're all about love here, all about love, all about rebirth, transformation. What happened in the past is not going to come into my future. I am in a blessed place moving forward because now I'm appreciating myself. I'm appreciating what I deserve. I don't deserve this. I don't deserve third party, fourth party situations. I don't deserve that. If you want to be in that third party, be in it, baby, be in it, enjoy it. You know, let that consume you. Let let that, if that's what you want, let that be. But remember, true love doesn't die. True love just doesn't like go away, right? When this person eventually has their epiphany, you may just be on a different, a higher vibration. And you're just like, oh, 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 you know, oh, you're trapped in your mind, right? You're trapped in your mind. You're trapped in your ways, young man, young lady. I could no longer allow you access into my kingdom. I can't. But I feel like for some of you cancers, this may be you as well in your mind. Yeah, but you're walking away. In your mind. You're in your mind. Somebody's wondering if something is over. You guys are wondering if this is over. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. I hope this resonated, okay? I will talk to you guys soon. And enjoy the rest of your month, guys. Have a good one.